Hey guys, what's happening? Adam here. Adam Gonche from San Antonio. It is Mailbag Monday, and uh, it's the first of many Mailbag Mondays. I want to say thanks um, for all the questions. We got great questions, not so great questions. Um, yeah, so uh, basically, I kind of went through. I, I read every single question that came in, and there were hundreds. On that note, here we go. Jeannie is helping me with Mailbag Mondays. Oh, oh. Well, <laughs> so let's do it. Let's get off. The thing let's see. First question is from Lisa. Just Lisa. Okay. Hello, Adam. I live in Tampa, Florida. I have been following you for almost 10 years. I have traveled to Texas to meet you. I have been to nine of your concerts and have met you seven times. You are my absolute favorite singer and performer the most modest, humble, and caring person I have ever met. Will you be at Sunfest in West Palm Beach, Florida, and will you be performing at 98 Rock Fest on April 29th in Tampa with Disturbed? I don't want to miss the opportunity to see you perform with your new band, Lisa. Nice. Well, um, for one, thank you, Lisa. I appreciate the uh, compliments, and it sounds like you've been to a ton of shows, and... Uh, sounds like we've met a few times so um yeah this is a good one to start off with so thanks so much for being such a great fan and uh being so loyal and coming out to the shows and i'm excited that you get uh to see san Antonio for the first time soon coming up in florida um yes we are playing sunfest uh the exact date i'm not sure about and all that stuff the the, the touring all the shows um they're all on our website and uh that's probably the best spot to go to check out um when uh, we're playing and all that stuff so yeah that's that's the best way to find out any any questions about um, the shows and everything um, yeah just check out the website next question um, just saying this ahead of time I'm sorry if I butcher anybody's names this is from Katia Guimares um, hey I prepared some questions have a nice week one Adam can you dance No. The answer is no. I can. I mean, I can. Really, I think everybody can kind of dance. I can't, if you w wanted to, uh, like, if you were to rate me, if I were to go on uh, Dancing with the Stars, and, I would, you know, if you asked them if I could dance, absolutely not. No way. Um, I don't have any dance moves. I have one, and it's called a lawnmower. We all probably know it. That's it. That's my move. So, I, um... I can't dance. This one is from Roll Ray 519 Just heard your amazing cover of I Don't Care Anymore on Octane, and I absolutely love it. Even better than the original. Please tell me when it will be available to download. I Don't Care Anymore is originally a Phil Collins song that we covered. Same as when we covered uh, the song in the studio. We were looking for a cool cover to do, and that was one that we came up with. And I've always wanted to cover it, so... Um, We've just released it, actually, to Octane, and exclusively to Octane, Sirius XM right now. Uh, so they're playing it. Uh, if you haven't heard it, you should check out uh, Octane and definitely get on it and um, check it out. All right, next question. This one is from Freddie Maurice. Freddie Maurice. Hi. Wanted to ask what your spirit animal is, if you think you have one. If not, then what's your favorite animal? Love, Freddie. Well, Freddie... Thank you for the question. I appreciate it. Uh, what is my spirit animal? That's a tough one. I don't really know. I'd say um, I'd say I'm kind of a a bird <laughs> of some sort. I could be could be a reptile. Two. All right, next question. Okay, this question is from Lauren Whipfler. Lauren Whipfler. In what ways has your wife Jeannie inspired Saint Sonia's music? A lot of the stuff that I wrote on the um, Saint Sonia record, a lot of the songs were written for Jeannie. It's hard to not write songs about something and people or something, or people or things that mean so much to you in life. And Jeannie means the world to me, and uh, so that's why. I, I mean, uh, there's half of the record, at least, <laughs> is written about her. So, um, yeah, and I'm sure plenty more songs, um, you know, are going to be written about her just because it's natural for me to write about things that happen in my life. 
and I am very thankful that she happened in my life. So, yeah, so that's a great question. Thanks very much. So this one is from somebody in Russia, so I don't know what their name is. Pupsik Mandarin from Russia. Pupsik Mandarin from Russia. The question is, do you put the sugar in the coffee? Maybe. Do you? Do you put the lotion on the skin? Next question. This one's from Gianna Gonzalez. Gianna Gonzalez. Do you guys plan to feature either Ben Burnley or David Draymond in one of your songs live during your tour this summer? That would be awesome. Uh, that's a good question. Um, well, for one, yes, we're, we're going to be touring with Disturbed and Breaking Benjamin and Alter Bridge very soon this summer. Uh, and to have either David or Ben or both of them or Miles or anybody really to come up and jam a song with us would be great. It's always really cool. Uh, to have guests come up, especially, you know, especially guys, uh, guys that are that talented, you know, so, uh, hopefully, yeah, hopefully we get them on stage and, uh, get them up with us and, or hopefully maybe I get up with them. We'll see, but it's going to be a great tour. That's for sure. And I'm really looking forward to it. So, uh, thank you for the question and I appreciate it. Next question. This question is from Bibi Zaka. Bibi Zaka. Question. Do you like dogs? <laughs> All right. Question number whatever. Next. Next questions are from Mitchie Monroe. Mitchie Monroe. A lot of fans noticed that you covered up the Never Too Late lyrics on your arm. Why did you decide to do that? I didn't really decide to cover up Never Too Late. Um, I... We brought an artist, a tattoo artist, out on the road with us for a few days. Uh, he's really great. His name's Adrian Warwick. You should check him out. Adrian Warwick. Um, and I just, I was actually, I had a, an idea um, for a tattoo, and I just let him go over this spot on my arm. And I wasn't really, I didn't really want to cover up Never Too Late for any particular reason. It was just, uh, it seemed like the right spot to do it. Next question. Here we go. This is from Shane Rowland. Shane Rowland. How you doing? What is your favorite Tim Burton movie? I don't I don't really know. Give me a second, let me think about it. Hold on. Give me one second, let me think about this. My favorite Tim Burton movie is definitely Beetlejuice. Um, yeah. I mean, that's it. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Next question. This question is from Stephanie M. Stephanie M. Do you know any German bands? And if so, what's your favorite and why? German bands. Do I know any German bands? I do know German bands. And you know why? Because I spent time in Germany. So, I got familiar with this particular band this particular act and check it out here's a little piece moving on next question this is from Ian Dirks Ian Dirks can you guys please make a cover version of the Rocky song No Easy Way Out by Robert Tepper what no Easy Way Out by Robert Tepper is one of my favorite songs from the 80s, ever. Ever. Uh, Rocky IV is one of my favorite movies, ever. So that song is an integral part of that movie. Actually, if I can find it, I'm going to put, it, I'm gonna put a little clip in of me and Rich actually playing it together. We've already done it. We've already covered it. Uh, but just an acoustic version. So here's the clip. And if... There's not a clip here. <laughs> it's because I can't find it. So we'll put cats in instead. Yeah, that's a good idea. Here's the clip of me and Rich playing No Easy Way Out by Robert Tepper. And if it's not, if I, and I can't find it, here's some cats for your enjoyment.
Did you like that? Did you like that? Moving on to the next question. This is from Lycos Black. Say something in Italian. Same. Number two. Do you have a child? Everyone on the internet say that you have one, but someone said it's not true. Okay, here's the deal. Let's get this straight. A, no, I don't have a child. Um, B, my birthday is May 25th. It's May 25th. It's coming directly from me. Like, I was the one born. May 25th is my birthday. So, on Wikipedia, whoever does my Wikipedia page, I just want to tell you directly from my mouth that May 25th is my birthday. All right, next question. This one is from DBZFan551. DBZFan551. Hey, Adam, what kind of guitars do you and Mike mainly use live and during recording sessions? Awesome question. Um, we use Paul Reed Smith guitars. Uh, Mike actually has his own custom Mike Mushock PRS. You should check it out. It's pretty badass. They're amazing guitars. Kick-ass guitars. We absolutely love them. Anna Sakanova. Sakanova. Anna Sakanova. In your mind, is a dependency-prone person necessarily weak-willed or the other way around? Okay. On one side, not being able to resist trying unhealthy things means a lack of self-control. But on the other side, living with addiction should require some strong will, I suppose. P.S. I think you're very strong. Whatever you reply. Smiley face. Love Anna. Okay. Anna, right on. Thank you for the question. And that's, um, that's a good, that's a very good question. Um. And I think everybody's different, and I think it's really hard to, it's definitely hard to generalize um, what addiction is. Obviously, addiction has a definition, but you can't uh, define a person being, you know, uh, being weak. You can't define them as being weak or being a weak-willed person or having the willpower um, if they're addicted to, to certain things. I don't think it's wrong for people to try different things. Uh, it, there's always a point when you know there's a problem. It, whether you're an addict or not, if you're doing something that you know is affecting you, it's affecting your personal life, it's affecting people around you, most importantly your health, your emotional health, your physical health, you know it and you come to a point where you realize it, realizing you had enough and doing something about it, you know, yeah, that's the best way that I can sort of answer it for you. But thank you for the question, that's uh, definitely... Um, a good one and um, thanks for the support and I appreciate the fact that you feel like I'm a strong person I, I really appreciate that okay and for the final question Mailbag Monday final question of the first of many Mailbag Mondays here it is this one is from Alina Hoke or ho Hockey Hoke Alina Hoke let's go with Hockey I like that Alina Hockey or Hulk. Or, you know. Hi, Adam. What TV shows do you like to watch? And are there any fictional characters you can relate to? There are TV shows that I like to watch. I think out of all shows on TV, I re there's only one character, one person that I can relate to. The show is Bob's Burgers. I relate most to Gene on that show. Gene! I hope that answers your question. He walks around with a keytar and makes fart noises. And that's exactly what I do. So, how could I not relate to that, you know? And there you have it. There was the first Mailbag Monday. Um, thank you guys so much for all the questions. We got a ton of, uh, ton of great questions. And uh, tried to answer as many as I could. Um, but yeah, we're going to be back next week with more. And... Um, so make sure you check it out. Stay tuned to our, you know, Instagram page, our Facebook page, all that stuff. Uh, and we'll see which member of Santa Sonia will be next week. We'll keep that uh, surprise for you. But uh, yeah, keep the questions rolling in. Once again, um, the email address is Santa Mailbag at yahoo.com. So okay. Anyway, thanks guys so much, and uh, we'll see you next week. Mailbag Monday, Santa Sonia, rock and roll.